Yeah. Or there, you know. Yeah. There's a, there's a woman across the street that they belong to Bjorn. And what was her mother's and across father's? The street from her. What, what was her mother and father's name? Do you remember? Her mother and father. Yeah. Yes. Her mother's name was Mary Farrell before she was married, and she married um, Mom's father. It was Ambrose Marshall. Uh -huh. But that's as far as I can go back with the Marshalls, you know. And what was her last name again? Marshall. No, the one before that. Farrell, Mary Farrell. -A she came from O'Dearin, Zincha Bay. Uh -huh. O-D-E-R-I-N, O'Dearin. And how do you spell her name? Farrell? Farrell, F-A-R-R-E-L-L. -L. Oh, Farrell, yeah, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And th that's as far back as you can get on that side? Yeah, I never, never bothered much with them, you know. They had the Marshalls now. Uh, you know, my mom's father and, and you know his his brother. They they had uh, his brothers. They had a big business, big lumber, big, everything. You know, big general. Just they still got it. You know, it was passed down from one son to the other. You know, mm -hmm. and beyond. You know, and yeah. a lot of them they were in, a lot of them were in, they were teachers and doctors. Now, now mom had her, her father's sister. Mm -hmm. Funny thing about it, her aunt Mary. She lived in St. Jack's. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was married to this man. She was her name was Mary Marshall. She married this man Burke, and he was a merchant here. He, had, he owned half the place there. She had four children, and they were all doctors. One of them was a dentist, and the other three, the woman, her si the sister Patricia, they were all doctors, you know. Mm -hmm. And one, one of them, his name was Humbert. Okay. And now that was her daughter Mary got married mm -hmm. to this man Giovanetti. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a uh, they, they were, uh, that's an Italian name, I know they were, st you know, after Sounds it, yeah. Giovanetti. Gio there was Giovanini's too, mm -hmm. out around St. Lawrence and that, a lot of them. But, uh, but anyway... Uh, His first name was Joe? G-I-O-V-A-N-E-T-T-I. -G -G oh, that was his Giovanetti. last name, Giovanetti, yeah. Giovanetti. Now that was mom. That was mom's cousin. He was mom's uh, mom's cousin. You know. Mm -hmm. He used to come in. So they used to come in. Him and his wife to see them in the, in the store when I worked in the area. You know, when I worked the area downtown, they often used to come in and see me. Because they're both of them are dead now. That was his second wife. You know. Did they have children? No, they didn't have any children. You know. mm. He lived down on Waterford Ridge. They lived on Waterford Ridge Road. So, uh, and the funny thing about it, mom, mom's aunt, that's her father's sister. Mm -hmm. uh, the, when the deaths were in the paper, when mom died on 17th of April, 1937, when the deaths came out in the paper, her aunt Mary Burke was dead. She was after dying out in St. Jack's. Mom used to keep in touch with her, you know, used to when, you know, she, because there was only one was left in the family. Like. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, uh, she died too when she was 99 years old. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, yeah. Do you know anyone named Clara, Bernie, Burke? No. Huh? I guess there's a lot of Bernies and a lot she, of Burks. She had, a, she had a daughter, Mary, and Mary, Mar Mary married this man, Joe Vanetti. Now she had four children and they were all doc doctors, you know. Like I said, only even one of them, his name was Humbert. Now that's his name, is that his first name? Humbert, he, he was a dentist. He, were, he was here, worked pra practice here in town, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, one of our daughters, uh, she was up in, old, up in uh, New Brunswick somewhere, but she died. Her death was in the paper. Patricia, Patricia Burke. Mm -hmm. she, she never married, but she was a doctor. And, and, and the, the other two were doctors. You know people by the name of Bernie? Bernie? Mm. No. Uh, uh, well, that's a common name. Okay, uh, I'm thinking of the uh, man. Uh, man. Burn. Burn. Burn, yeah. B Y R N. B Y R N E. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Burn, no. Maybe Moon might have known. Bernie's and the, uh, Mans. Uh, there was a girl, a Bernie, she worked in the Parliament. She, uh, she must have been married to a Bernie. She gave me her card. I have it somewhere. She you're, you're talking about Bernie, B I R N I E, is it? No. It's or B I R N E. Yes. Well, it's not it's important anyway. It's, uh, well, the, 
maybe so to us, I don't know. Uh, you had mans that lived down in your lane up there, off of the coal road? Yeah. Was it off of the coal road? You mans, had? yeah, the mans, yeah. And uh, she told me that there was different mans yeah. up there, because she had a lot of relatives. Yeah, right. And she was here that summer That's that Dobby I met her. Man. Dobby man, my yeah. most friend. Right, right. right. Well, she was away when during the war doing war work, you know? Mm -hmm. But, uh, but there were several mans, and uh, so I think that she must have been related to him. She came to Newfoundland, and uh, that was three years ago, and she said, I'd like to live in Newfoundland. So I was wondering if she came back, because somebody by the name of Bernie yeah. was uh, running for that poli political oh, yeah. policy. Yeah. You didn't see it in the paper? I saw it no, on the television in Toronto. No, Friday brought me down last night's paper, and I was late. No, that was there uh, months, several months ago, last winter. Well, what time do you have your supper? It was five o'clock or quarter to four. Mm -hmm. What did you say? Five o'clock or quarter to oh. oh. So do you remember uh, anything about my grandfather, William Oakley? Yes, I suppose I do. Was he uh, oh, this up to mischief and no he good? Had, he had so much patience with poor Bill. Bill, Bill, see, Bill, uh, he never was a bit of a long story. Huh? Uh, Bill would get up, he did, couldn't tell the time, see. Mm -hmm. He'd get up at 2 o'clock in the morning, huh. and he'd take his mouth organ with him, and he'd go over to Mr. Oakley's. And Mr. Oakley never, he'd bring, he let him in, and he'd play for him all night. He'd play, Bill didn't know what time was, you know. He'd be lying down on the couch. And he'd, he'd, uh, he'd be playing, and I playing. Can see uh, it up there. He'd be uh, lying down on the couch, and he'd wake up, and he wouldn't know what time. It was probably well, two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. And he'd get, get up uh, uh, over to Mr. Oakley, you know. And Mr. Oakley always let him in, and he had such patience with him, you know. And he did play away there, play him. You know, see Mr. Oakley be playing the, the violin or whatever, and he used to play. That's when you lived up by Kent's Pond? Bill right. used to come up telling ghost stories. Mm -hmm. Who? Bill. Well, Bill loved I think he'd be afraid to go to sleep. Oh. I think he'd be afraid to go to sleep. So we tell Dad and Dad to say, oh, no, that's not true, it's made up. Uh, yeah. so, so up come Bill and uh, Alec would tell him, you know, and it was a, there's a, and he says, now I'm going to tell you a true one. So we tell him another real Sounded true, but it wasn't true, and it went on and on. But he had Alec believing oh, it. Who was that? Bill. 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 Was yeah. it? Yeah, Bill. Bill. Now tell me why. Bill, Bill can't speak now. He's stone deaf anyway, see? Yeah. That's when he was seven years best. old, he I'm got scarlet fever. Tell you. Mm -hmm. And he was in the. We had the fever hospital here there then, but you couldn't. You weren't allowed to win, you know, no, no yes. visitors. But uh, now, twice mom and dad, he was seven years old then. Twice mom and dad were called in, he was dying, but he didn't down. die. I think that's he had, uh, then he got meningitis, he had water on the knee, and, how many, and he was in the hospital six months, and then he came home. So what does it say? Can you see that? Towards Christmas. So after Christmas, uh, you yeah. know, he went back to school again. Yeah, it was about five school. before, is that what you got? And uh, anyway, this day there was... You know, it was, it was summer then, or, or sure early, probably May, around yeah, mine the month. Yeah, mine was almost four. That one must be slow. Uh, they let him out in recess, you know. Yes, now, we just yes. lived down on, on yeah, the heat this, and over uh, We just lived down from the street. We just down from the school where he went to Patrick's home. So anyway, he went to the back, so he came home, you know. It was 11 o'clock then. And Mum said to him, Bill, it's just for you to stay home now and have your dinner, and then go back to school at 1 o'clock. So he stayed home and he had his dinner. When he went back, the brother said to him, where did you go this morning at recess time? Bill said, I went home Fair to go enough. to the bathroom and the, my mother kept me home for my din dinner. She said, just let me stay home for my dinner. So he took, he took Bill and he put him in a classroom, an empty classroom, and he locked him in. Mm -hmm. And when school was out at three o'clock, he went home, went home and went up to the monastery and everybody went out and left Bill there. Forgot all about him. Four o'clock came, five o'clock when Bill wasn't home. Everyone everyone on the street was out looking for Bill. So I, I went up over, up and went up Queen's Road and I met this young fellow up by Balsam Street. And I asked him, uh, I said, look, Bill never turned, or never came home after school. Did you, do you remember seeing him anywhere? Mm -hmm. And he said, 
come to think of it, he said, brother, whatever his name was, he locked him in the classroom because he went home at recess time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I went, I went ran back and I told Dad. Dad had to go up to the monastery then where the brothers lived. It was way, way up past the church, way up. And the, the, the head brother had to go down and let Bill out. When he opened the door, his face was as black as that from crying, you know. Mm -hmm. He was terrified because he was, he was locked up in isolation down there for six months. And you could you could be down and down below, and he'd be up in the window, and you could just wave to him, you know, and that's but you couldn't talk to him. But but uh, you know, he had to, and then he got mass tides, and he got he he stoned dead. But you now. didn't finish the, as a story when your father died. It was nine o'clock at night. Yeah, no, it was seven o'clock I think. Was seven nine. Okay, yeah. seven o'clock at night. Yeah. So uh, then he was locked in there from one o'clock, and his face was black. You know, his child so, seven so then, years old. So know. then he wouldn't go to school no he more. He never went to school the day after. And then, and, and, uh, uh, Andy, my God, the talent he had. He could do everything that we couldn't do at all. He could skate, he could swim, he could play music. music. He could, uh, he, could, he used to swim across Long Pond and he would, but everyone, that's a long, long link. Mm -hmm. And, um, <coughs> you know, everyone would go into shore and take a red spill and turn right around and come back again, you know? He could he draw, he was a reader. He could, he could draw, oh my, could, was, could he, 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 he was some artist. Could he draw? Yeah, he could draw, he could do everything, but he had no education and they didn't see. Now, now he's in the water, he's in the water for it. And he used to dress yeah, like a sheep. Yeah. Remember the hat? The white uh, yes. hat and the jacket. He used to dress like sheep, the most yeah, beautiful he style. He used to go to last mass, sure. and he'd be so long doing up his clothes. <laughs> mass would be over before he'd get ready, to, before he'd be ready to go. And you were the same, but Dad was a queer hand, you know. Dad, was, Dad was a character. He was queer. He had the queers. Bill had his hat, you know, a felt hat was a, and the brim was a kind of wide in it. Mm -hmm. And every, every day he'd have the scissors and he'd be cutting a little. A little bit off of the brim, you know, trying to get it to his liking. And anyway, um, he could, Dad came in one morning, he came in, came in, Murph, Dad used to get off four o'clock because he used to work his dinner hour, you know, so he'd get off early. Work, he would take a half an hour to his lunch. And then he'd be home, he'd walk home, he'd be home about four thirty. Anyway, Bill was trimming his hat, you know, and Dad said, Bill, for God's sake, he said, if you don't leave, leave that hat alone, he said, you're going to have a a Turkish fez made out of us. <laughs> you know, the ones, little things the Turks wears up on top of their age. <laughs> he had the rim, the rim cut so much on the head, you know. Be every day he'd trim a bit off. But well, I know you have your hair up in curlers, right? Yeah. And next day you had nice long hair, nice long thick hair. Next day you'd have it out and you'd be all dressed and you'd spend half a day getting ready. You'd walk all the ways down the road, turn right around and come back, you didn't like it, and then you'd comb it all over in a different way. <laughs> She, boy, it was hard to please her. But I know. And, and this one here, she she never bothered with anything. She'd get a bath and just, uh, huh? I don't know what you said. What she said? Well, you don't know. I don't know what she said. You didn't care, right? She looked neat and nice, but boy, did she have nice clothes too. She had nice style. So where did you all grow up at? Where did you all grow up at? Well now, we lived in Bowden Street, that's where I was born. I lived there until I was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. And in uh, 1926 mm -hmm. we 